you can see an enormous change that has come about in the conception of citizenship as revealed by government transfers. Uh, we've gone over the last 50 years from being a very largely uh, self-reliant uh, republic of, not to exaggerate too much, but, uh, self-supporting individuals, uh, to becoming uh, what you might think of more as an entitlement state or an entitlement society or entitlement republic uh, based upon uh, government transfers, regular government transfers that are uh, implemented under law and are, uh, are, are things that Americans of different uh, ages and economic status and employment status can see as their, uh, as their right as citizens today. Um, so um, I think there are a lot of really um, important implications from this gradual transformation, and I think that many of them are very troubling. And let me just take you through some of this homework, and I'll try to show you what I mean. Um, this little line here shows the, uh, the current uh, value of entitlement payments, of transfer payments by the U.S. government to individuals and families over a 50-year period. This is not adjusted by inflation, which is a very important caveat. But in about 1960, at the end of the Eisenhower era, um, if you put together all means-tested benefits, uh, social insurance payments, social security payments, health care transfers, and the like, that the U.S. government was uh, paying to individuals, that total was about $24 billion at the time. In, uh, in 2010, that total had risen to about $2.2 trillion. It had increased not quite by a factor of 100, but by <coughs> almost a factor of 100. Uh, an average pace of growth over this very long period of time of about 9% a year not taking inflation into account. 